And it's just really sad. The way you know, this is what I'm dreading the most. This is what I'm dreading the most, okay? Summer split's gonna come, all right? And here's what's gonna happen. Here's what's gonna happen. Everyone and their mother is gonna play Gwen. Everyone and their fucking mother is gonna play Gwen. Okay? Because it's the same, it's the same thing. Really oppressive, really, really, really simple. And then really fucking good against people that don't want to try to play the game proper. So we're going to have fucking Gwen Viego everywhere. Gwen and Viego with the fucking... We're getting invaded by the Shadow Isles. This is, this is already going to happen. Okay? Everywhere. She's going to be everywhere. And she doesn't deserve being everywhere. She's not good enough to be everywhere. Viego... Viego is like... I don't even know how to describe Viego. Viego is really reliant on his reset, right? He's really reliant on the possessions. Um, but, like, the reality is, is that in laning phase, he achieves a goal that's pretty important, but it's not game-breaking. What Viego does is you can't really move him because he has too much sustain, right? So... Viego is a physical damage champion in mid lane that can't really be moved, that also dissuades melee mid laners from being in mid. So as a byproduct of this, okay, he's so fucking simple and stupid that he's just going to be picked. Not because he's fucking good, but because of really similar things to the same logic that pro teams use when they draft Volibear, uh, or when they when they draft fucking Renekton, or when they draft, I mean, it, it's the same thing. It's it's the same it's the same pattern. It's the same painting.